much. Welcome to the episode of 600 Seconds where I ask you a whole bunch of questions. If we spend 600 seconds on one question, it's awesome. There's no rush. There's no, it's not a time trial thing. Okay. Uh, Hutch, who is your celebrity crush? Her name escapes me, but she played Ava in Ex Machina, and she played Laura Croft in the new Tomb Raider. Ah. I think she just got married or engaged to the guy who plays Magneto in the new X-Men movies, the yeah. young guy. Oh, that guy's... He, fuck, Alicia, actually, Alicia Vikander yeah. is her name. Oh, well, that's his name. His last name is Vikander. His name is not Vikander. His last name is? What the fuck is his name? Yeah, he's, he's been in a whole bunch of... He's amazing. He's an incredible actor, I think. Not Vikander. You disagree? His he's, last name is not Vikander. Her last name is Vikander. His think, name is something else. It's not that, though. Uh, Maddie, can we get a fact checked in there? But in the meantime, who's the guy, who's the guy that plays Magneto in the new X-Men? What is the Michael Fassbender? Fassbender I fucking bro. told you. Come on. Uh, what is the dumbest thing you've ever spent your money on? That's a that's a long list. Like financial responsibility is still a relatively new concept yeah. for me. <laughs> Does getting married count? Does getting eloped in Vegas count? Did you have to pay for that? You had to pay for it. Yeah. And then you paid for it. And then I paid. You had to give her it. half of your millions when she I'm walked away. I'm not going to get into any specifics. Damn, that's crazy. How many times have you been married? I just got married one time. Two, two times. No. She was the last one. Was your second marriage? Shut the fuck um, up, man. <laughs> what is the first app you open when you when you wake up? Twitter. If you were to pick between Twitter, Instagram, you don't do you don't even do Instagram, right? Um, no, I have some presence on there now, more than I did before, but not like... Is there a reason? You just didn't see value in it? I, just, recent- I, I don't want to like, I, I, I just, I don't like to divvy up my... You which is terrible, to- I mean, like for, for the job that I do. Yeah. I just you gotta be everywhere. Me, but yeah, I like to focus my... Fwiz just deleted the app from his phone. Has, has a, has, Instagram? Yeah. Oh yeah, some people are doing that now. Um, uh, Philly D has d- d- deleted Twitter from his phone, and I think... Uh, Who's the other guy that you Casey really like? Neistat. Casey, yeah, yeah. Casey Neistat did that. I tried doing that for a little bit, but I like I get I, I get all my news from from from. It's like a curated news feed for yeah. me. So yeah. this for the first time ever, I I stepped away from the internet for a week straight at the beginning of the year when I went fishing in Mexico. And what I did was I moved all of my apps that are in my front page all the way to the back right <laughs> now. That's what I did too. Right now I it have. It doesn't work look, though. Right now on my very last page, I have Reddit. Yeah. Uh, because like two days ago, something was there that I was just like, uh, it's this time of year where I just get really Dude, good it stuff. It feels really good to unplug. It's hard though. Like I tried doing it in Hawaii and it did not take because so much shit was going on when I was like breaking news every other day these yeah. days. So it's hard not to want to pay attention to that because I want to see it all. Like I like being alive right now. Yeah. I think this is the most bar none interesting time for american history not american history like all of history like with that we that of the fucking 12 billion years that the universe has been in existence and the fucking four billion years i don't know if i'm getting my numbers right that earth has been around and well not occurring not according to the other planets in this in the universe that have life on them which there has to be there just fucking has to be you were born here now to to experience it this which is insane and so I want to fucking see it. You want to see it? Uh, I mean, what if the outcome comes that you don't like? That's a possibility. Witnessing something doesn't mean you love it or you hate it yeah. all the time. It just means that you saw it. And I, I you know, I like, to, I like to see things play out. I'm so grateful to have been alive during all this. Still seriously. to this day, yeah. Yeah, seriously. Do you think that- no matter how bad it gets, it's like, holy shit. If you just take away the, the badness of it all, yeah. because sometimes it does get very bad, it's like it's impossible not to sit back and marvel at everything. So the redacted uh, Mueller report is dropping Coming tomorrow. tomorrow, yeah. And New York Times, as we were having doing this podcast... When just, you went upstairs to take a shit? Just when I took, went upstairs to take a shit, New York Times dropped a story just now that Barr... And the DOJ was working with the White House to help them craft a rebuttal yeah. to, to the Mueller report. Already. Yes. So you think, think tomorrow- about that. So like the subject of an investigation mm-hmm. being told by the person who was inve- or the, the body that was investigating them, like here's how, you know, here's here are the contents of the report and here's how you can create a counter narrative it's fucking insane that is insane yeah that's coming that's out a, it's a little bit unfair it's just borderline the doj even though it, it's under the executive branch is supposed to be an independent body it's, yeah it's, it's like the whole like one of the principal 
One of the principal ideas of the presidency when the founders conceived of it was that a president is not a king yeah. and that no man is above the law. So yeah. we'll see. Do you think, but, but do you think that because he's an American president that we should sort of have been like, l l think about how, what it looks to the rest of the world, right? That we're fucking That's a big morons. deal. Yeah. That's a big deal. Like the, 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 the example that we set to other countries all over the world is a big deal. And things that happen in American politics have ripple effects that are felt everywhere. So it is how, how we as a country deal with this situation. And I'm not jumping to any conclusions because I haven't seen the fucking report yet. But, yeah. you know, if there's some bad shit in there, then, you know, how, how we deal with that will have an effect on it, it it'll embolden autocrats around the world to to you know well america's getting away with it so i agree what can i get away, away and, in, away and with? in those countries they don't have the regulations that we do to protect the people as much as we've been able to protect ours so that's that's what's dangerous and that's what's scary it's like death by a thousand cuts you chip away at you chip away at these institutions that are supposed to serve as a check on power mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you get some really bad situation yeah, i mean look at look at the how emboldened i don't want to get into it too much but look at how emboldened people have gotten in, in being more free to say certain words and, and act certain ways towards certain races let's let's uh let's move on. what is the dumbest thing you've ever done for love oh man just like sacrificed every ounce of integrity that i had <laughs> <laughs> I was like really in love with this girl who had a fiance. Yeah. And she was like telling me that she was going to leave her fiance. Yeah. And then she did that for like four or five months. Like Ooh. strung me along like today's going to be the day I'm going to break up with him. Yeah. And then, and then she never did. I was so infatuated with this person that I let her just do that. And then finally after like five months, I'm like, you know, I don't think she's going to leave her husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you give her an So you were the side chick. I was a, I was a, um, Sancho, el, el otro hombre. Sancho? El que te la deja ancho. Oh, 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 don't look it up. Don't look it up. Oh, shit. Uh, Hutch, uh, what is your favorite food in the world? If you um, could eat one thing on your, like you're, you're on death row. Right now it's Korean barbecue. So are you coming at 4.30? Oh, I should probably try, huh? Yeah. You're, not, you're only in town I mean, like once I'm, every I'll once in a tomorrow. while. I'll leave tomorrow. I'll probably go. Yeah, I should probably come. I'll just do a late stream. I'll, I'll, forget, do, I'll just forget, do a night stream. Yeah. It'll be fine. J, I say J, that, J but then I'm going to drink like four beers and then I'm going to come home and be like, oh, I'll just watch. Dude, J15 can entertain the chat in the in the chat room. Uh, Who's your favorite yeah. mod? Don't ask me that. Who's your favorite mod? No, I'm not gonna Who's ask your favorite me. pet? We'll start it there and then... <laughs> I don't have a favorite pet. Who's been your favorite girlfriend thus far? <laughs> <laughs> Which one of your two ways? No, that undoubtedly has me. Yeah. Un, like, it's not even close. I, I can see that. I was totally like, joking. Like, I have so much stability in my life. Yeah. That I just... You knew me for a while. I was a fucking I've mess, known you for 10 years. For a long time. And... Um, I've my, known you through... Uh, J word. Your wife word. And oh shit! Wait, <laughs> Julia and Liz. Is what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's that's cool. Uh, that, that you're that you're that you're happy. You're yeah. you are happy, right? Oh, I got a great thing going now. Yeah. Are you are you in a good mental state right now? Mental like headspace. Yeah. If you do I mean, get, I, you you do overthink things yeah. all the time. Well, I think about things a lot, but like some some days I'll have days where I'm like, I I think when you go through a fucking nervous breakdown. And, and, and go through a period of, of deep depression, it leaves an indelible mark. Mm -hmm. It's always going to be with you the rest of your life. And, and then you just, uh, for me, it's been just like learning to, to ignore a lot of the stuff that pops into my head and then also learning how to like interpret it a different way. So like if, if, if my mind is telling me one thing, sometimes if I, if I dig beneath the surface of that, I can find a sort of deeper hidden meaning mm -hmm. like it's my mind just trying to tell me to, to to address something but it's telling me in a really fucked up way so you kind of learn your own language the older that you get but these days i would say that i'm generally in a pretty good mental mental place even if you have like off days yeah where everything feels like it's shit and you feel like a piece of shit and you know all that negative self-talk comes in but you get i think i mean I've, I've been fortunate to have like a lot of really good people in my life you know that have sort of shown me the way yeah so I've been very blessed in that regard. 
But overall, I think that, you know, everything that's going well for you, like you think it's, it's good. Like what's the most important thing in your in your life right now? Thank you so much for tuning in to 600 Seconds. <laughs> we appreciate you. We'll see you.